Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's my favorite day of the week, New Comic Wednesday. It's January 27, 2021. I'm your host, Tony Varela. This is my co-host, Little Yogi Yogs. And we're gonna tell you about all of today's hottest comics and variant covers. So sit back, relax. You're watching Comic TV, and I got a ton of comics to show you. I'm gonna show you comics I got in the mail. I'm gonna show you comics I got in the dollar bin. And I'm gonna show you all of today's new hot pickups. Starting out with Year Zero from AWA Upshot, we got number three from Benjamin Percy. Benjamin Percy's a great writer. He also does Wolverine that's out today and X-Force as well, two titles that are really awesome. We got Juan Jose Rip doing the art and we got us a beautiful Kari Andrews cover. I don't know what's going on with this girl there. Is she pregnant or is she a little person? I don't know, but it's a cool cover. Kari Andrews, also if you're not on her new title, uh, was it Static? Really good book. Hope you're enjoying that one as I am. Aftershock Comics brings us Kaiju score number 30, th uh, excuse me, number three. We got James Patrick doing the writing. We got Rim Brew doing the art and cover. And this book is really original. Very unusual premise. Uh, like Ocean's 13 meets Pacific Rim. Very cool. Very uh, cool tone to it as well. Lots of language and uh, lots of colorful characters. So I recommend it highly. From Boom Studios, one of my favorite titles, Something is Killing the Children, number 14, written by the great James Tinian. I can't wait to see him back on Batman. And we got Weather Della Dara doing the art, and, excuse me, interior art and covers on this bad boy. Next up, we got We Only Find Them When They're Dead, written by Al Ewing. We got Simone DeMeo doing the art on that. And this is the Alex Garner spoiler cover. I'm not sure what that's spoiling, but it is called a spoiler cover. I uh, also got the uh, 1 in 25 DeMeo cover, and I was supposed to get the 1 in 10 Felici variant. And uh, that one's a little scandalous looking. How you doing over there, Yokes? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, Yogi's got his Daredevil shirt on here. Let me, let me pose him up so you can see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. But yo, he's always a nice guy. Next up, from IDW, we got Yusaki Joe Jimbo. Uh, it's written and drawn by Stan Sakai, and I strictly got that for that beautiful Peach Momoko cover. I don't like all of Peach's work, but when it's good, it's good. From Image, it brings us Department of Truth, number five, written, of course, by James Tinian. A uh, couple of great titles out today. Martin Simmons is doing the art on there. Very dreamlike, kind of Phil Noto, Bill Sinkowitz sort of style. And that is the beautiful Two Lelote cover. Uh, big thanks to the guy at my shop that uh, let me have that one and then realized he didn't get his. Tried to give it back to him and he wouldn't take it, but uh, very cool. Nice, nice uh, comic karma going on over there. So we got Spawn 314, written of course by Todd McFarlane. We got Carlo Barberi in on the art. And I like Barberi's art. I don't know if it's the best for uh, Spawn, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. It ain't no Jason Sean Alexander or Greg Capullo, but it's pretty good. And we got us a dope Francisco Matina cover. And when a lot of people are charging five, six, seven, up to nine bucks for comics these days, Man, it sure is cool of Spawn to be giving us these covers at $2.99. So from DC Comics, and we got us a Future State Aquaman number one. This is not uh, 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 her, Andy Curry, that's her name. That is not her first appearance, but it is first appearance as an adolescent or young, or young adult. Uh, she looks a lot more adolescent on the cover than she does in the interiors. But Brandon Thomas is doing the writing on this. We got Danielle Sampier doing the art and cover on this cover A. And uh, oh man, getting some sweet kisses from my yokes. But uh, definitely a good looking art in there. And uh, she's kind of got the uh, 80s Aquaman suit on. So we got Batman Black and White number two, assortment of artists and writers, but I strictly got it for that Kamome Shirahama cover, and that thing is super, super nice. Get off the couch, cat. Get off that couch. Next up, oh man. Now, uh, a lot of this future state art has been, how can I put it tactfully, Yokes? Trash, you know? But uh, we got Dan Mora today. We got uh, Ben Oliver 
cover artist doing interior arts. What a treat. That art looks beautiful inside. So, uh, you know, a lot of these future state titles hadn't been working out for me, but I've been leaving a lot on the shelf and uh, really picking and choosing uh, to see what I want. But I definitely grabbed this one. We got Jean Luen Yang doing the writing, Ben Oliver on the interiors and cover. Uh, definitely preferred this to the uh, variant. It was a little bit, little bit silly. Future State Batman Dark Detective or Future State Dark Detective number two, Mariko Tamaki doing the writing on this. And as I mentioned, Dan Mora doing the interior arts over from Once in Future and really, really good art. Loving it. So two, two Future State art, uh, titles out today with some really smoking art, but there was some junk out there. Uh, we got uh, this is the uh, cover B, Gabrielle Delato cover. So that was pretty smoking hot right there. Happy to grab that one. At a cover price, Delato does not do many cover price books. So we got DC Black, Batman, White Knight, Harley Quinn, number four, written by Sean Murphy and Katana Collins. And uh, Mateo Scalera's art is very reminiscent of Sean Murphy's as well, who is a great artist in his own right. And I keep trying to put this title down, but it's just good every week. So, uh, man, I'm going to finish it out and see see where it takes me. But I really like this Batman Elseworlds. You know, you kind of get a lot of the same old, same old in Batman, although Tinian's run, of course, is great right now. Super great. Speaking of runs... Last God, number 12, finishes up with this issue, number 12. Philip Kennedy Johnson's really waved a, a deep, complicated story with a lot of backstory, sort of reminiscent of some uh, Lord of the Rings type stuff, but definitely more ultra-violent and sexual than Lord of the Rings. Uh, Ricardo Federici's art is absolutely smoking, so uh, now that this book's fin finished up, if you haven't been on it all along, I recommend you get it in trade, and it's probably a better read that well way as well. Uh, Kai Carpenter uh, gave us all 12 covers of this run and uh, I'm uh, happy to see where it goes from here because it does say book one of the Felspire Chronicles. So we'll see what happens. So uh, coming up from Marvel, Savage Avengers number 17. Not a title I normally get, but uh, Gary Dugan, who's written Dead Deadpool before, is writing this title right now, and Deadpool makes an appearance. And uh, the uh, comedy between him and Conan is surprisingly funny. Only read some snippets, but uh, spoiler alert, they're in jail together. And uh, Conan asked Deadpool, uh, you have a, a healing factor just like Wolverine's, yeah? And he's like, oh yeah, even better. So... Conan proceeds to stomp Deadpool through the bars of the jail cell. So, very good. Uh, Kev Walker's doing the art in this, and we got us a really awesome EM Gist cover who's been doing the uh, cover Bs for Avengers. Maybe he's been doing the cover A's. Anyway, he's been doing the covers and doing a damn good job, too. So, uh, check that out. Captain Marvel number 25, another title I try not to buy, but they keep having uh, first appearances and story arc uh, keys in there. Kelly Thompson's doing the writing on that, and she also is presently doing the writing on Deadpool. We got Lee Garbett doing the art, and we got to say uh, Jorge Molina cover right there. But uh, spoiler alert, we're going to get Thor's sister, uh, Bridget, I think is her name. Uh, she wields Molnir. She gets into a little scrap and gets in a little trouble and calls on Molnir and assumes full on Thor powers. And she's pretty badass. So, definitely something you might want to check out. I believe that's the first time she's displayed that power. Uh, I also got the uh, Jamie McKelvey alien variant and uh, some of these alien variants have been hit and miss we got a few good ones today and I really like the uh, the look there where uh, Captain Marvel's dressed as Ripley with the cat and the alien lurking behind her so very cool stuff one of the hottest Marvel titles today Daredevil number 26 Chip Zdarsky's doing the writing on this book and been doing a great great run Marco Cicchetto has been doing most of the art duties all along this run subbing out every now and then but he is back and we got a Saraza Aliens cover. Once I found out this book spiked up to about $20 on the eBay, I had to call my comic shop and have them slap two more in my box. That's what she said? I don't know. Anyways, uh, next up, Deadpool, number 10. As I mentioned, written by Kelly Thompson. Uh, cover and interior art by Raphael Sandoval. And uh, I think that's about all the key there is to that book. But it's been a pretty nice run, I have to say. What we got here? Oh, this is uh, Marvel number four, and uh, I saw that 
Alex Ross, uh, X-Force, and Deadpool on there, and I thought there might be a little more of that going on, and uh, no, no, there's not, Yokes. I know, I need consoling, because I was a little butthurt. But it is a sweet cover, but the interior art is uh, hit and miss at best, and we got a whole assortment, but uh, Alex Ross does do some of the interior art, but not a lot, and he also does some of the writing as well. Next up, we got Amazing Spider-Man number 58. They got me again, Yogs. They got me again. I hate this title. I really can't stand Nick Spencer's writing. Uh, but, man, they got me with this Jung Young Yoon cover every week, man. They're putting out a banging cover. And, uh, man, this week's no different. That's dope. So I had to get it. Mar Marcelo Ferreira, by the way, is uh, subbing in on the art. And he's decent. He's not bad. Next up. Big title, High Republic, second print, number one. We got Caven Scott doing the writing on this. We got Ariel Anandito doing the art in inside, and I believe the cover as well. And uh, this book's going to be hot. Uh, there were, I could only get one of these. Uh, I went to two shops, and only one of them had it. And I thought my uh, second shop, my uh, go-to, my uh, my local comic shop, Dark Side, would uh, have more, but I feel lucky that I got the one. So uh, anyway, it's a second print. I got several of the first print as well, but uh, I still wish I could have got that uh, 1 in 25 variant of that first one. Strange Academy, hot title, number seven, written by Scotty Young, Humberto Ramos doing the art and cover on this book, and uh, I think there's going to be some big happenings going on here. Uh, Dora Mamu's son uh, supposedly had died the last issue, so uh, you know how comic deaths go, that's not likely to last, but we'll see. I mean, uh, Dr. Sprain Strange does look pretty grief-stricken right there. <clears throat> Boom! Wolverine number nine, probably the coolest uh alien variant of the day benjamin percy man great writer love his stuff man he really keeps a torrid pace in his comic books and adam kubert's art yogs oh man i love kubert's art him and bogdanovich have been sharing duties on this title and they're both absolutely great and that is an rb silva aliens variant oh yeah yogs oh yeah so uh, last comic of the day, and then stay tuned. I'm going to show you some sweet, sweet comics I got digging through them back issue bins. We got X-Men X-Men number 17, written, of course, by Joshua Hickman. And oh, my God, we got Brett Booth on the interior arts. And holy 80s, man, really took me back. It's like old Jim Lee when Jim Lee was still Jim Lee. Really cool. Can't wait to read this book. Now we got Hickman's writing combined with Brett Booth's, Booth's art. That's going to be dope. And we got to say uh, Russell Dowderman Aliens variant cover. I didn't even realize that because the cover A was terrible. I just got this one. I didn't even see that alien lurking up in the top. Boom. So uh, supposed to be a light comic day? Obviously not. So uh, I got these books digging in the dollar bin and uh, they are very plentiful. One of the highest selling books of all time but it's actually starting to move a little bit on ebay and when i see them in great condition for a dollar oh we yokes i'm gonna snatch that up every time leave no comic behind same with this bad boy right here x-force number one there's a uh, a trading card in there too i think deadpool is the one to get and uh snatch this up from the dollar bin and this is a nice condition 20 cent comic we are war number 13 we got bats we got nazis we got horror it's crazy and uh this book i got in the dollar bin and this is the ultimates and oh man this is uh rumored to be a possible iteration of the future avengers since uh marvel pretty much ruined uh, see they they killed black widow uh, they drove Scarlet Witch crazy. They uh, killed Vision. Uh, they turned Captain America old. They uh, turned Hulk into a gimp. Uh, Tony Stark, dead. Thor, fat. So uh, anyway, they're going to have to do something with the, these Avengers. And now they say they're not bringing Black, Black Panther because of uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman's tragic death. So, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, they got to they go somewhere with it. And uh, a lot of people are saying right here is where they're going to go. And Miss America Chavez is one to be speculating on in uh, Blue Marvel as well. 
And uh, because of that speculation with the Black Panther, we don't know. Uh, they say they're not bringing him back. So we're going to get Shuri. We're going to get a female Black Panther. Is uh, is the, uh, the bad guy going to take over as the uh, Black Panther? What's going to happen? Well, one thing people have been speculating on is uh, in an else Marvel Elseworld, uh, Storm and Black Panther have coitus and have a child and his first cameo appearances in this book right here that I picked up for a dollar today. And I also picked up this number six, his first full appearance for a dollar. So uh, definitely some spec value there. And uh, now I got a bunch of incredible Hulk Mike Mignola covers to show you. Nice big run of them. I'm not going to take too long with them, but uh, I forgot he had done this big run. And when I found them all together, ooh, couldn't pass it up, Yokes. Couldn't do it. Hulk 304. Hulk 305. Hulk 306. Hulk 307. Hulk 308. And these are all in really sweet condition. Couldn't believe it. Hulk 309. I'll have to change out this stack. You know, we're almost there, and I'm going to show you some really nice ones at the end. What we got here? 311. And 313. I found this book. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Uh, we got Captain America getting slapped around by Nazi Frankenstein. What the hell, Yokes? That's crazy. Next up, we got the Sentry. And uh, in this Sentry number five, we're going to get the full, first full Sentry merging with the Void. And I know this Void is going to play some part in the King in Black and kind of already has. Now, this book's not very expensive, but it is the... Uh, image swimsuit special and that is the first published art of todd mcfarland but you can get that on the ebay for 10 15 bucks pretty easily got it for a dollar and uh also wildcats number one now uh we know we got this characters already in the dc universe and uh man i'm hoping one day they'll bring that back and do it correctly because that was one of, one of my favorite image runs and then we got uh savage dragon number one now that's not his first appearance or first issue that's his first ongoing i believe this one is his first first and uh next up we got gobbledygook and uh, i believe this is a reprint of a early appearance of teenage mutant ninja turtles if you can find the black and white original version of this you're rich bitch next up we got uh, the uh punisher war journal and uh this is number 75 drawn by mark Teixeira, but we're going to get Lynn Michaels as a female Punisher. Ooh, sounds freaky, right, Yogs? Oh, man. Don't call her Punisher. Anyways, uh, this book is specced up. It's going for about 50, 50 bucks in good condition. Next up, I got this book in the mail. I did not get this for a dollar, but uh, I got a good deal on it. It's the uh, Tom Taylor. I believe it's a 1 in 10 or 1 in 15 variant. And I really enjoyed that Wonder Woman, one of the uh, one of the few future state titles that I did really enjoy. I've enjoyed Wonder Woman, Dark Detective. Uh, Flash was terrible. I didn't get the Shazam. It looked terrible. The Suicide Squad looked terrible. Uh, the next Batman, not very good. Uh, but Wonder Woman, uh, Catwoman was very good. Teen Titans, and I like Justice League. So, And then there's a few today we'll find out uh jungle book number four and i got that because of that sexy uh paul green cover from my friend chris ballard gave me a nice deal on that and a couple of others i'm going to show you we got the ultimate fallout four second print variant which is really going up in value as well as the second print that was the second print regular this is the second print variant right here so uh gave me a nice price on those books now, I got a nice price on this book, but it uh, still cost me a pretty penny. Uh, so thank you, Titan Comics. But G.I. Joe number one, and it's pretty much a first appearance of everybody that's anybody in G.I. Joe, except for maybe Destro or something, or Zartan. Um, but anyway, that's a hot book. And, you know, it's a kid, it was a kid's book, so most of them have been really read hard in this one. So crispy yolks, those corners. Checking out the trophy case. Anyways, these corners are sweet, and this book is really increasing in value. So I'm glad I got it while I could. And uh, hey, that's all I got for you. Thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please tell your kids, tell your friends, tell your wife where to find all the hottest comics and variant covers every week. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.